Hiya friends, Prepared Suburbanite back at you. Today is uh, Wednesday, the 2nd of November, and happy November to you all. <laughs> and thanks for stopping by to uh, enjoy this uh, little bit of wisdom. Um, over the past uh, few months, or even the last year and a half or so, maybe even two years, it's very difficult to find prepping channels on YouTube that really get into the basics anymore. What I'm seeing uh, very frequently is a lot of uh, um, scare tactics, I guess. Oh, a big food shortage. Oh, we're all going to die. Uh, we're going to starve to death. The um, um, supply chain is broken. Um, there's not going to be any gasoline, there's not going to be any diesel. And all those things, um, I guess if you bundle them all up, they are truly reasons to be concerned about the current state of affairs in uh, this particular country right today. So what I'd like to do is kind of step back to some basics and ask you this question. What do you normally carry in your vehicle that will allow you to either get home safely, get out safely, bug out, um, get home, stay away forever, run like hell kind of a bag, <laughs> you name it. Um, I've got some thoughts and I've got uh, some equipment that I want to review with you, some gear and what I've been doing for the last few years with my ready bag. So stick around. So first up uh, is what I call my day bag. And that goes with me pretty much every time I leave the house. Just gets tossed in the back of the, uh, uh, the Jeep. And um, it's designed to get me where I'm going and back again, just in case the Jeep dies, we have an EMP, uh, war is declared, uh, you name it. Um, and it's very simple. It's uh, just a shoulder bag that I think I picked up a few years ago uh, from um, LAPG, Los Angeles Police Gear, LAPG. Uh, they're out in California. They make a pretty wide assortment of uh, bags, uh, backpacks, uh, messenger bags, all that kind of stuff. And I really liked this style. It came in very handy when uh, we were having to do quite a lot of day trips because we had a very sick relative in the hospital and we'd have to run to the hospital uh, every day, every other day. And this thing just absolutely came in handy to carry the things that we needed to get through the day while that person nursed himself back to health. So um, I, I found this to be a perfect size for that. It's not ubiquitous. There's very few of these things around. They don't uh, draw a, a ton of attention. Um, and th there's plenty of room in it. You can see that there's uh, molly straps on the side, um, here and here, and there. And uh, it's got a front pocket, and it's got an internal pocket. And I'll get into the uh, uh, insides of this in just a sec. So there's the bag there. I'm going to just kind of get into uh, what I normally carry in it. This is just a, a regular uh, bandana handkerchief kind of a thing. I've got a uh, little Ziploc bag that's got uh, some paracord and a little bit heavier um, cordage there just in case you might need it. doesn't take up much room. Also in here I have a ferro rod fire starter. There it is. That uh, can come in pretty handy if uh, you're stranded, you're stuck, you're out in the middle of nowhere, you can get a fire started with one of these little babies. And got a bar of soap. <laughs> this just is one of those pickups from a uh, 
uh, stay in a hotel room, still in the little package. It's uh, held up for a number of years and uh, uh, haven't used it, but I'm sure it's going to come in handy if you need to clean up while you're um, in distress there. Also in here, some uh, lip gloss. Um, this is Blistex medicated for chapped lips and hands. Um, I've got some medications in this little tin here. Um, aspirins and Tylenol, that kind of a thing. And I've got some duct tape wrapped around uh, an old uh, expired credit card. So that can come in really handy um, should you ever need to do some taping up. Also in here I got some zip ties. I have got a 42 gallon contractor trash bag that you could use as a shelter. You could use it as a poncho. Uh, you can put your trash in it. So um, it doesn't take up much room and there it is. I got a life straw here and it's wrapped in paracord all the way around it so that I've got an extra hank of paracord with me at all times and a life straw inside that little package which I think is a terrific idea. Uh, it takes up a heck of a lot less room doing it this way than it does to carry two of these things. I've got a, a shemag in here. I think that could really come in handy for whatever you're going to need it for. It can act as insulation, you can use it as a sling, you can keep warm with it. So um, it doesn't take up much room, but it fits in this pack just fine. I got a, a pocket knife in here. Uh, it's probably a four inch blade. Should come in handy if you need it. Got some snacks. Um, there's a Cliff bar in there, there's some Slim Jims, there's some cheese crackers, that kind of a thing, just to get you through a few hours if you get hungry. Extra batteries. You never know when you're going to need them. Snap light, glow sticks. Uh, could be very handy if you're stuck on a highway and you pop one of these things open and make yourself a little bit more visible. You can see a little bit better at night when you got one of these. I think there's two of them in here. Got an SOL survival blanket in here. That's great. And I've got <laughs> some cash. And I've got some wet wipes that uh, can come in very handy if you're stranded in the woods. Got a plastic spoon and I think there's one more oh this is the uh, this is the other uh, glow light uh, snap light. So that whole thing right there is enough to help you survive if you get stuck on the road in um, any kind of an emergency situation. Uh, you've got stuff to keep you warm, you've got um, a, a life straw so that you can uh, drink some water, you've got a few things, a couple of snacks in there, way to keep warm. It's really all you're going to need until you can get home or help arrives. So this is my main um, get home bag, bug out bag. Um, <laughs> You, whatever you want to call it, survival bag. Um, it's got pretty much everything that uh, I'm going to need to last for uh, three days minimum, maybe four or five days. And uh, I've, I've been carrying this around with me for uh, in the back of my Jeep for uh, God knows how many years. Six or seven years probably. Um, and it's full of all kinds of good stuff. What I try to do is rotate it out um, every season change. So like in the fall and then again in the spring, I'll uh, um, winterize it in the fall and I'll summerize it in the spring. So uh, take out the, uh, the heavy coats and uh, wool socks and stuff like that in the summertime, 
replace some of the clothing items in there with uh, uh, shorts and t-shirts and stuff but in the winter time and in the fall I'll winterize it and put in um, wool socks, uh, watch caps, uh, heavier sweatshirts, windbreakers, that kind of a thing as far as the clothes go and it gives you an opportunity to double check on uh, flashlights and make sure that they're working, check on your batteries, make sure that they haven't gone bad on you. So I would recommend that you do the same with your bags, uh, however, however you want to title them, and uh, um, use the spring and summer rotation to make sure that you've got everything that you need for the right season. So let me get into the interior of this. Hold on just a sec, I gotta set up cameras. Well, I've opened it up so that uh, hopefully you can see most of the stuff that's in there. Um, got a little uh, personal hygiene bag in here inside the roll of uh, TP are some first aid uh, band-aids, uh, some betadine, and uh, uh, some toothpaste in there. I got some snacks in there, um, these little Nature Valley treat bars, and here is what I should have taken out for the winter, <laughs> and I'll, uh, I will today. Um, it's a head net for mosquitoes and no see -ums. Um, It could really come in handy uh, during the summertime when you get plagued with those buggers. So if you're out in the uh, wilderness and you get stuck and you're uh, trying to get home and you've got some um, equipment, I would highly suggest that you um, make sure that you've got personal hygiene stuff and that you've got at least a few snacks. Because it's going to be dark, I've uh, picked up a, a bunch of these little Lucy lights. They work terrific. They're inflatable, uh, solar powered, and they actually cast quite a bit of light. So if you're going to be stuck out at night and in your little shelter, in your vehicle, whatever, these can really come in handy. Got a uh, little folding stove um, with some uh, fire starters in there that you can use to uh, warm up some water, warm up some soup, do something with, make some coffee. Um, can be very handy in case you need it. Got a pair of cotton socks. I'll get to the other socks in a minute. Um, I've got an emergency food bar that uh, I think has got yep, 2,400 calories. So it should last um, quite a while, at least uh, to supplement some of the other things that you're going to be putting in your bug out bag. Um, got a little fishing kit in case you find yourself near a body of water and you need to go fishing. Uh, there's line, there's um, uh, hooks, there's sinkers, um, lures, that kind of stuff in this little bag. And um, just another bunch of plastic bags in case you need them for whatever else. Also in here in the in the top section I've got a windbreaker that's very very warm especially in the winter time. I picked this up uh, when uh, I was at an Ohio State football game in Columbus Ohio and I was about freezing to death waiting for the for the game to start before we could actually get into the stadium and there was some street vendors out there and I saw this jacket and I said, hey, I'll, I'll take one of those and put it on. Oh my God, what a difference it made. It kept me warm all day and it probably didn't get above 30 or 35 degrees during game time. That's a lifesaver. Great, great um, windbreaker jacket right there. Um, in here, got a pair of work gloves that uh, really do come in handy when you're out uh, um, foraging for whatever, firewood. Um, I've got some backup kind of stuff. There's coffee in here. There's uh, some crackers. I think there's a ramen noodles in there. So it can really come in handy if you get hungry. I got some paracord. I've got my wool socks in here. And I have a shrink. Yeah, these are the wool socks. And I've got a, a shrink wrapped blanket. And we we did this with our uh, um, um, vacuum sealer and just sucked all the air right out of it and it, it compressed it down into this brick 
here and uh, all you got to do is just puncture it, open it up, and you've got a full-size, man-size blanket. Um, a life straw in here. I've got paracord in here. I've got um, another shamag in here, which I could find very, very handy. I got a pair of binoculars in here. I think I won these in a raffle at a local sportsman's club. And uh, I've been carrying them around in my, uh, um, in my bag for a number of years. They really can come in handy. There is an MRE down in here. I have a um, fire kit, fire starter kit in here, which has got all kinds of cool stuff in it. I've got fatwood, I've got candles, I've got a magnifying glass, I've got lighters, I've got a ferro rod, i got all kinds of stuff just to make sure that you can get um, a fire started. So, and, and it all fits in this, uh, this little Maxpedition pack here, and it really does turn out to be a very handy item. There's an extra t-shirt in there. There's a, uh, um, I think that's, that's about it in these, these two compartments. So, bottom line is, if you've got the time and you can put together a bag like this, I don't think it's going to cost you more than uh, um, maybe 50 bucks or 60 bucks for the contents of it if you're frugal enough. Um, I would suggest you do get a good bag. These are not military specifications. These bags are from uh, LAPG, LA Police Gear, um, but they've held up very, very well. The zippers are still working on them. Never had any problem with it. So this is my get home bag, my bug out bag, my survival kit, everything I need to keep going for at least 72 hours. Well, I hope you found this uh, little bit of an overview of the bags that I carry in my Jeep uh, pretty much every time I leave home. And uh, <laughs> hope you found it very helpful. So do me a favor, give, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed and you're watching, please hit the subscribe button so that we can continue to bring you, hopefully, content that uh, you're really going to enjoy and get something out of. So this is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always and I'll see you all on the next video.